It's time now for at least in local sports and sports. We begin by congratulating the state runner-up varsity girls softball team. Lost to eventual state champion Heritage Catusa by a final score of 10 to 2. It's Heritage Catusa's fourth state title in girls softball after winning three straight from 2018 to 2020. Heritage Catusa won 4-2 in the winners bracket game of North Oconee on Friday. So North Oconee dropped down to the losers bracket and played a rematch with their Lady Jackets on Saturday morning at 11 a.m. North Oconee beat Wayne on Thursday 12-0 in just five innings and on Saturday morning jumped out to a 5-1 lead only to see Wayne battle back and take second place in the state event with a 9-5 win over North Oconee. Senior Dakota Crow picks up that win in the circle. That set up the state championship matchup with Heritage and Wayne had to win twice. Jackets lost the first game. Again, Heritage Catusa wins it by a final score of 10-2. Again, Heritage Catusa has been ranked number one all season long in the quad eight standings. Again, but what a great season for the Lady Yellow Jackets state runner-up, beating a second year high school not once but twice and came from behind to win both those ball games. Our congrats to Coach Colt Brockington and his assistant coaches, Chase Henson, Charlie Lyons, Summer Fry, Chase Bryan. Team members are Marley Walling, Candace Thornton, Avery Smith, Caden Mons, Reagan Harvey, Dakota Crow, Ellie Harrison, Addie Tyre, Beta Bowen, Charlie Stewart, Allison Ogden, Hannah Kelly, Ada Sluter, Alyssa Tillman, Addison Thompson, and Morgan Boatwright. And Wayne County varsity girls softball team finishes second in the state in Columbus. High school football team closed out its regular season this past Friday night with a convincing 35-10 win over Southeast Bullock High School on senior night. 24 seniors on this Wayne County football team. Jackets offense balanced on Friday night as sophomore quarterback Jeb Craven threw for two touchdowns and the leading rusher in the state of Georgia, senior Matthew Fuller, rushed for three more scores. Jackets scored on their first possession, a nice 43-yard strike to wide-eyed jockeys Vale for an early 7-0 lead. Southeast Bullock would tie the score at 7-7 with 16-yard touchdown run by Kyle and Taylor. Matthew Fuller would make the score 14-7 with his first of three touchdowns. This one from eight yards out. It was 3-18 till halftime, and Wayne County would get the ball back one more time and score right before halftime with 40 seconds left. Jeb Craven to Jockeys Vale for the second time. This one from five yards out, and Wayne County led at halftime 21-7. In the second half, Matthew Fuller scored from 13 yards out with 6-09 left to go in the third quarter to make it 28-7. Southeast Bullock got a 25-yard field goal with 149 left in the third to make the score 28-10. to And in the fourth quarter, Matthew Fuller rushed his third touchdown, this one from 35 yards out. Final score, Wayne County 35, Southeast Bullock 10. Jackets end the regular season with a record of 7-3 and overall, 3-2 and in region play. Most likely will be the fourth seed heading into the playoffs a week from this Friday. Still a possibility that could change if Southeast Bullock upsets Burke this Friday. But most likely it's BC 1, New Hampshire 2. Berg 3 and Wayne 4 going into that state bracket where 32 teams enter. One team wins the state championship. The matchup, again, this point looks like Wayne County is heading to Spalding High School. That's in Griffin, Georgia. Spalding High School and Griffin High School share the same stadium. That's the start of that game when Wayne scored a touchdown and was ruled a fumble, and the rest is ancient history. Also, a stadium where a lot of cars were broken into that night, so if you're headed up that way, please don't leave anything valuable in your vehicle. As soon as we get the official matchup, we'll have it here on local sports, but once again, Wayne County. As this Friday off, as regular season officially ends, the playoffs across the state begin Friday, November the 10th. Other high school scores on the weekend. We had two of our region teams, or four of our region teams, play last Thursday. BC beat the Islands 57-0, and New Hampshire beat Berg 34-28. Other scores from the weekend, Appling shut out Tattnall 31-0. Brunswick over Evans 35-7. The Cavalry shut out Long County 35-0. Coffee beat Greenbrier 56-7. Colquitt over Valdosta, 44-28. Pierce over Vidalia, 35-7. Richmond Hill beat Lyons, 37-14. Spalding beat Perry, 31-22. And again, they win that side of the region. That's the region we cross over with. So again, Spalding won. Wayne County most likely seeded four. That's the matchup two weeks from last Friday. Toome shut out Windsor Force, 48-zip. And Ware shut out Statesboro, 50-0. Cross-country teams compete a state event this weekend. They're headed to Carrollton. Again, in the region to meet, the boys finished third, the girls finished second. The varsity cheer team competition won this past weekend in Swainsboro. They'll compete this weekend for a region championship. That event takes place this weekend at Stars Mill High School. College football, Georgia wins the annual clash with the Gators in Jacksonville, final 43-20. Georgia Tech, a nice win in the ACC. They beat North Carolina 46-42 to even their record at 4-4. Other scores, Kansas upset Oklahoma 38-33. Florida State rolls over Wake Forest 41-16. Oregon beat Utah 35-6. Louisville shut out Duke 23-0. Notre Dame all over Pitt 58-7. Tennessee beat Kentucky 33-27.
Ole Miss over Vandy, 33-7. US, UCLA beat Colorado, 28-16. And Penn State over Indiana, 33-24. So after the weekend, the AP Top 25 still has Georgia at 1, Michigan 2, Ohio State 3, FSU 4, Washington 5, Oregon 6, Texas 7th, Alabama up to 8th, Penn State 9th, and Oklahoma drops to number 10. 11 is Ole Miss, Notre Dame in a 12, LSU 13, Missouri 14, Louisville 15, Oregon State 16, Air Force 17, Utah 18, Tennessee 19, and UCLA rounds out the top 20. 21 is Tulane, 22 Kansas, 23 James Madison, 24 USC, and 25 Kansas State. NFL Sunday, Falcons lost to Tennessee 28-23. Jaguars win their sixth straight road game. They beat the Steelers in Pittsburgh 20-10. It was the Jets in overtime over the Giants, 13-10. Eagles over Washington, 38-31. Cowboys over the Rams, 43-20. Vikings over Green Bay, 24-10. Dolphins beat the Patriots, 31-17. Saints down the Colts, 38-27. Panthers over the Texans, 15-13. Seattle over Cleveland, 24-20. Cincy over the Niners, 31-17. And Denver, the big upset of the weekend. They beat Kansas City, 24-9. Ravens beat the Cardinals 31-24 in Sunday night football. It was the L.A. Chargers over the Chicago Bears 30-13. Tonight, Monday night football was the L.A. Raiders at the Detroit Lions. The World Series continues tonight, Game 3. This one in Arizona. The series is tied 1-1 with Arizona winning Saturday by a score of 9-1 to tie the series. Ends up best of 7. Sunday was a travel day. Game 3 tonight in Arizona. First pitch at 8:03. And that's going to do it for Ladies Den Local Sports.